He's up. He's up. He's up. That's brilliant. A, that's a miracle. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I tell you what, I'm surprised. So am I. Mikkel Mickelson. Clearly, I would suspect he'll be the one to be thrown out of the race. Yeah. Um, because he, he caused the incident. It's an accident, but it's his fault. So I'm just absolutely delighted. I'm just so delighted to see Freddie up and about. There may be some damage there, but if it's only his hand, then it could have been a lot worse, Kel. What concerned me was the fact that Freddie was trapped in position on the bike. Yeah, he was squeezed he up against control the... control it. No, 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 he was completely out of control, but I suspect that he's got a hand issue. Here we go, look, 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 Mickelson oh, out of control. No. Look at Freddie there now. He can't get off the bike. He knows what's... Co it's a good job he's hit the air fence, let that, me tell you. That's what I said. And you said it, and he's only hit the start of the air fence. Yeah. There's not much in it there. No, but that's what saved him. Look at him. Oh, my goodness me. Yeah, but that's what saved him. If that hadn't have got an air fence, then that could have been a career-ending crash. I don't think I'm overstating. Not at all. I agree 100%. Look at him. He can't get off. No. He, he, he's now just hoping for the best. And he's walked away from this, folks. Yeah, and if he's got a broken finger, I think he's got away quite lightly. That is horrible. I've seen a lot of speedway down the years, and that is one of the most awful crashes. I remember seeing uh, Andres Johnson disappear behind the air fence, actually, in a similar fashion in Gothenburg years ago. Um, but it wasn't as quite as dramatic as that. But for Freddie Lingwood, oh. um, he was just a passenger there for some time, and he's very fortunate that he's actually just run into the air fence there.